Hello, welcome to Zim Capture. I'm inventor Dan Zen, and Zim at zimjs.com is an open source framework to make interactive media on the HTML canvas using JavaScript and CreateJS. In this capture, we'll take a look at how we can add components to the stage, like buttons, dials, and sliders. Oh my! In a future capture, we'll see how we can adjust those components using parameters. Let's go into the code now. So here we have a Zim frame template, and it's the fit scaling. So we will make a button here. Var button. Well, we're going to be making a bunch of components, so let's just give it a generic name. Component is equal to a new Zim dot button. Round brackets. So we have a button class that belongs to the Zim namespace. And we're making a new button object from the button class and assigning it to the variable component. If I were really doing this, normally I would give that a more descriptive name, but I know I'm going to be making a bunch of components here, and we just want to whip through them and see what the default components look like. Well, to see that, we uh, need to add it to the stage. So component dot center on the stage. That will do it. And we save that and let's see a button. So we open it up in a window. Oh, there is a button. Press. In a future capture, we'll take a look at how we can capture the events on things like this to do things. So there's a default button. Now, what other types of components do we have? Let's uh, open up a window here. Go to Zim. Ooh, pizzazz. And click on the docs. And scroll down wee, to the build module where we see we've already done a capture on circles, rectangles, triangles. Now we're on the components, which are label, button, checkbox, radio buttons, pane, window, waiter, indicator, stepper, slider, dial, tabs, pad, and color picker. OK, so we skipped past a label. Let's try a label new zim label oops label now let's see what the default label looks like we refresh here Ooh, nice and obviously we can change the color of that and the size and the font and even things like roll colors and put backings on the label and stuff okay next how about a checkbox check box. Let's see what a default checkbox looks like. Refresh. Ooh, yes! Check. No check. Check. And that can be a little square. We can change the color. We can make it an X. If we pass in some text, the text will show up and you click on the text and it will check. So that's a checkbox. Radio buttons. Zim radio buttons. I think for the radio buttons, we might have to pass in a default list. So we put a size like 30, and then we have to put in like one comma. Oh, uh, that's each of these is a string. Two comma and three tree <laughs> two and tree and let's take a look at that we refresh here one two three and you can run these horizontally as well and change colors etc okay that was radio buttons oh what's next oops let's go back here and check radio buttons how about a pane and a window and a waiter so here is a pane. Oh, that's a pane. And we have to specify, tell the pane where to be added. Panes work a little bit different. They're like a pop-up. So we're not going to add it to the stage. So we'll comment that out. But we will show it. So component.show. So normally we don't see a pane. It's like a pop-up window. So when something happens, we then say component.show. And it's all ready. Let's check it out. We refresh here, and there it is showing. Now, if we didn't say component.show, save that, 
and then you know we wouldn't see it. But then when some event happens, we would pop up the pane. And obviously we can put text in the pane. As a matter of fact, we can put anything we want in that pane. We can make it so the pane is draggable, so it has a close button, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So next, a window. Window. And we refresh here. There is a window. A window, if we put content in it and it's too big, it will have scroll bars, and we can then scroll those scroll bars or swipe the window. We can change the color of it, I mean, give it rounded corners, etc., etc., etc. So that's a window. No oh, darn, what was the next one? Back we go, absent minded professor. A waiter. A waiter and an indicator. Okay, so a waiter. Waiter. And this one's like a pane. We specify, hey, this waiter should be added to the stage. And then we do the waiter.show. So we save that and refresh here. And there's a little waiter. Same kind of deal. Whenever you load something, you show the waiter. Whenever the loading is done, you waiter.hide. Waiter.hide will hide it. And you can change the color and I think make these little squares and uh, change the corners on that. Okay. Waiter. Ooh, indicator. Yes. Indicator. So an indicator will tell you sort of what step you're on or what level or anything like that. So we save that up and we're centering the indicator on here. Ooh, some dots or some squares. You can change the size of the number of them. You can also make them interactive. Um, usually you don't do that. You just sort of, this indicates, you know, what, what screen you're sort of showing. Remember like a carousel type thing, you know, that's, that's the deal. Ooh, I remembered to remember what was next. A stepper and then a slider. A stepper. Stripper. Stepper. Let's see a default stepper. We refresh here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no ten. So there it is. Arrows, etc. Click on this to go up. And it can also step through text as well. So if you give it uh, words, you can step through words. If you so desire, you can make the arrows go up and down, step on the sides. Stepper slider, was it? One can only hope. A slider. What does a default slider look like? Ooh, there it is. And you can make this go vertical. You can make the slider go inside the bar, inside the track, and it's like a, a progress. Well, what do they call these things? Side here. We'll get it. Um, a scroll bar? Yeah, scroll bar, that's it. And you can put little ticks on here and change colors and so forth, your own custom knob, etc. What's next? Slider, dial, then tabs, then pad. So dial. Save that up and refresh here. There's a default dial and you can pull that around. By default it doesn't go past, it only goes to that last one. You can also grab the dial anywhere and swing it around and you can click on areas for the dial. This one's snapping to the indicators, but you can make it so that um, it, it, uh, you can make it so that it doesn't have any indicators at all. Uh, let's see, I, that was the dial. What was next? A, the tabs. Tabs, I think, plural. And we refresh here. One, two, three, four. Those are default tabs. You would put them on top of a page here and tab between them. You can set the color. You can also make them have little rounded tops so that they look like tabs and put put uh, words here instead and change the number of them, etc. So those are tabs. Pads are sort of similar. Pad. I think it's just a single pad. And that looks like this. So there's a pad that you can set up with different things on it, like so, and different colors and roll colors and so forth. So that's a pad component. The last one is a color picker. Color picker. And we save that. And let's see what a default color picker looks like. Ooh, 
Ooh, there's a default color picker. You can select a color and change the alpha. Hit OK. That you'd have to capture an event on that or an event on the close. And you can also customize this with your own special colors. You can remove the alpha picker. You can remove this bottom and just have, you know, you can make them circles. So you can just have like five circles and color pick from that. OK. That's good. And if you want to read about any of those, you're welcome to go in and have a read. And we'll do a future capture on what these parameters mean. And there's two techniques for adding those parameters. There's a traditional one, and there's also when we pass in a single configuration object using the Zim Duo technique. So we've got a whole capture on that, and you'll find that these, these objects all work pretty well in the same, same way. All right, I'm Inventor Dan Zen. Happy Zim Capture. We'll see you for the next one. Ciao.